HTML coding is the language that you use to tell a browser how to interpret your content on a website or on your blog. And basically, it's a way that you add tags to your information so that the browser can interpret how you want it to display it and whether or not you want there to be photos, videos, different embeds, um, or links as part of your content. Today we're going to talk about just the foundations of how HTML code works um, so you can start getting used to reading and writing a little bit of HTML code. Um, HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. And as such, you're marking up the information that you're putting in your website. To demonstrate this, we're using the W3Schools free Try It Yourself editor. And you're able to use this for free at w3schools.com. And basically, on the left-hand side, you can see there's HTML code. And on the right-hand side, this is how a browser would display this code over here. So really easily, you're able to test out and see what's going on with your code. Now, the way HTML works is using tags. And you can see here there's an open and a closed tag. The open tag is a series of two brackets. The closed tag is two brackets with a slash inside. Once you put information in between your two tags, this is information, your browser will do something, and it depends on what attribute you put inside your tag, but it will apply that attribute to the information in between those open and closed tags. And so I'll demonstrate with the bold tag. So I've typed the letter B and the letter B again in my closed tag. So open and close have the bold tag. And you can see the information that I wrote, this text, is bold. Anything outside of those tags will not have that attribute applied to it. So this is not bold, is outside of the bold tag, and so it's not showing up as bold. Likewise, you can tell the browser to interpret the information um, in a certain way, such as with the paragraph tag. So here you see the letter P in an open tag and I'll close that. And that's the tag that indicates a new paragraph should be um, started. Even though this is on the same line in my HTML code, because I've told the browser to interpret this as a new paragraph, it's going to drop it down to the next line. So you can see it's taking me at my word that I want this as a new paragraph. Um, so it's very literal and it's specific. If you have the wrong information, it's not going to interpret correctly. For example, if I remove this close slash on my end B tag, you can see everything in my browser is still bold. And that's because the computer is not interpreting um, my intent as ever ending that bold. It's seeing it as it's always going to be bold because I didn't close that bold tag. So be very careful and always check your HTML code. If you're seeing a problem, it might just be a typo that you've had. In addition to the bold and the paragraph, there's tags like italics. This is italics and there's several others. So you can go through the W3Schools tutorials to see a lot of different um, tags you can put on, um, and those include the heading tag. So you're seeing here, this is a heading, and this is H1. There's different levels of heading, so you can do this is a smaller heading. As the number goes up, the heading itself goes down. So H2 is a little bit smaller, as you can see here. And a heading tag means anything that comes after it will be on a new paragraph as well. One of the great things about HTML code is you can insert, in addition to photos and videos, you can make your text linkable to other information. And the way you do that is with an A tag. So like we talked about with bold, anything in between the open and close A tag is going to be a link. We're going to make it a link. So this is a link. Anything outside of it is not going to be a link to my favorite website. And I've made this a new paragraph to help demonstrate. Now, by default, the A tag does not make something a link. So you can see this is inside an A tag. It's really a placeholder tag that does nothing. But what it does is it allows us to add more information inside that open tag to make this information on the page, this text, um, dynamic in some way. So inside, inside this bracket, I'm going to add some information that makes this a link. And I'm going to do it by clicking space 
and then typing href equals, and then you want two quotation marks, one before and one after your URL. And I'm gonna go to Southern's website and grab the URL, and I'm going to paste it in between those two quotation marks. So you can see there's an open and a closed quotation mark. As soon as I do that and update it, this becomes a link. And when I click on it, it goes to Southern's homepage. So it's a link because I've added the link information inside my A tag. Now be really careful because if you have one typo, so if I miss the closed quotation marks, what is happening is the browser is interpreting all of this information as part of my URL. So it's saying, okay, when does this URL end? And it doesn't end for the browser until there's a closed quotation mark. So when I insert that back, everything shows back up. Likewise, if I don't have this closed tag, this closed bracket, it's interpreting all of this as part of your URL. So you can see it starts to my favorite website. This is a link disappears because it's part of this open bracket. So you need to have every element for it to work. And one wrong keystroke can throw off your code. Now, this is, again, just an introduction. There's so much more to HTML than this. But hopefully this gets you started looking at the code, understanding a little bit about the tags, and understanding how these tags before and after information can change the way that a browser reads that information.